Thank you. Thank you to all of you. And um, it's, uh, it's very um, challenging to join the project so, so late because I, I, I jumped into the, the process only uh, at the beginning of May. And um, it's uh, make for me this presentation a bit uh, different from others because I cannot say that we work as a team. And I will present today as a, a course uh, description what was uh, done by me and then discussed by, uh, with colleague from uh, Yerevan State University. And uh, why I put my my degrees and and uh, um, uh, title on the, the the first slide because the course content is um, based on my my experience when I studied twice in a doctoral level uh, programs and at least last ten years I do I did and I do. Uh, courses on, on doctoral level. And this is a small commentary uh, on my question before, that sometimes we have a risk to create a doctoral level courses who are um, uh, do the same things as in bachelor level and master level. And we must be aware of this uh, risk and uh, to take that into account. In our team, uh, we have a different people from uh, three universities, Yerevan State University, University of Helsinki and University of Latvia. And thank you, Yevgeny Mama Sak. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't pronounce uh, 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 correctly uh, about discussion, but we have two nights earlier uh, about the course content. And uh, when I start to search for pictures of universities, I recognize that even university uh, buildings are similar around the, uh, uh, this part of Europe. And we can see how it looks like um, uh, houses of science uh, where we work. Uh, the course is uh, based or, or, or developed according to three main principles. At first, it's student-centered approach. I would like to say that it is 3I, uh, interdisciplinary, interculturally, and internationally, plus three self, self-regulated learning, self-understanding, and self-directed or independent research. And if we have this three plus three uh, um, uh, model, we has uh, um, many opportunities or even without limitation opportunities to do our own researchers together with other researchers from different um, uh, countries and, and parts of the world. The second principle is experience and, and practice-based learning. That uh, What I missed most in my studies, that there was a lot of theories, but there was not uh, taken into account my own experience as a researcher, as a personality, and there was a, a, a less of practicing how to do things, uh, not just listen how to do. And the third principle is um, uh, what, uh, what we take into account that we do not overlap with other ABC courses. For example, methodology, uh, methodology uh, issues. Do we need to do something with uh, this? content or we must uh, stay only on uh, these three main categories and describe them. The aim of the course, according to these principles, is to promote diversity comp competence and active open-minded thinking for promoting students' ability to be a part of international research community. And uh, 
target group will be doctoral students and of course if there is an interest uh, in university staff members and my suggestion is that this course could be the, the done in the best way if we create uh, a co inter -univer inter universities as a inter universities cooperation course that there is a, a lot of differences even in auditorium uh, in sense of students' uh, backgrounds and uh, personalities. The course learning outcome, uh, outcomes are students will be able to design interdisciplinary research project and work in the international research team. And there is uh, following uh, indicators how we can uh, recognize that, uh, that uh, they get this diversity com competence. They are self-awareness, they have ability to see others' point of view, valuing diverse experience, experiences recognizing the challenges and complexities of life and willingness to engage them, ability to learn about others' experiences and desire to grow from the knowledge. And the course content is uh, split into three blocks where each block relate to uh, uh, one category, what is uh, main, um, named in a title of the course. And I uh, um, leave this uh, course content block titles as uh, questions. And this uh, relates to the Freire's theory about liberation pedagogy and uh, questioning pedagogy is that this is uh, do not um, allow to expect that we have kind of right answers but but we uh, must search for our own answers about this um, study uh, content and the first block is what does it mean interdisciplinary why we need this kind of approach for the contemporary researchers and there is uh, three uh, sub sub uh, topics uh, crossing the borders of discipline and uh, crossing the borders not only uh, a big uh, uh, outside the discipline for example pedagogy uh, to cross the border of pedagogy and have relations with medicine but even crossing the borders inside disciplines because for example in theology we have four uh, sub disciplines and sometimes researchers even do not have connection between them in in the one discipline uh, among this uh, sub disciplines the second one is big idea approach we know the big idea is that, uh, applied to the educational processes but uh, what i know that the the highly ranked universities and research communities use this big idea approach um, um, in a research field too that for example this big idea today would be a COVID-19 and to combine the team from different disciplines different science uh, fields and to look uh, uh, from different perspectives and on on, on this phenomenon and uh, the, the third one is intersectionality in social science and humanity researches. It's the same uh, uh, to keep uh, different perspectives on a one as, as much as possible uh, perspectives uh, on, on, on a one phenomenon what we uh, dis uh, research and discover. The second block is related to intercultural. What does it mean intercultural? How to create successful intercultural cooperation? What is the level of my own diversity conference? Uh, competence and um, of course uh, there's again three sub sections post globalization and cultural pluralism it's a uh, tension between two these uh, categories or phenomena, and we must recognize that we live in a post globalized world and how we harmonize uh, this uh, tendencies of a plural society and and post globalization the second one is multiculturalism versus intercultural dialogue. It's uh, uh, again, uh, two different concepts and two different approaches how to live together and how to cooperate. 
And third one is diversity conference, uh, uh, competence and actively open-minded thinking. This is a measurable thing and, uh, and uh, it's possible to, to uh, develop self-awareness about my own uh, uh, readiness to be a part of global research community. And third block is how can effectively to interna internationalize uh, research projects. And th uh, this would be a part of more like uh, case studies and uh, searching for good examples on mobility, international team building, and and the role of researcher are you a holder of the international research project or just a partner and how to find the partnership and and um, other things okay and course structure uh, um, what i i um observed and what we decide in our institutions that uh, less than six credit points courses uh, is not very useful on on doctoral level because uh, it's make a fragmentation of of all study program and this is why uh, we decide to to give more credit points on this course and the general part would be a uh, seminars uh, there is only seminars there is no lecturing because doctoral level is that new researchers come together and create new knowledges all together in the same time in the auditorium they get new knowledges for uh, from their own independent researchers before seminars and they they come then they come together and to 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 develop these new knowledges in the seminar and there is a each seminar has a five-step uh, structure at first this actualized of personal experience on, on, on topic, then a new knowledge input by the lecturer or professor, and then students or group uh, discussions, all students or group discussions relating to bibliography and input, reflection on cases and searching for better solutions and evaluation of seminar. According to Bloom, it's all the seminar must reach uh, the third level, application level uh, um, uh, knowledge development. And uh, the second is independent work uh, on uh, students' own uh, personality development and understanding and self-awareness building. And uh, uh, the main work in this course would be uh, established in the first uh, day of the course uh, uh, teams, at least with three people, in this team who choose a course uh, will prepare uh, the project proposal what uh, reach this three i uh, uh, aspects and uh, then there is a domain specific part the case studies as a group work and uh, uh, the people in a small group three four persons assigned uh, on assigned problems to find one successful and one unsuccess success unsuccessful example uh, in, in in these three categories and then make SWOT analysis and uh, give at least three conclusions about group work results and assessments uh, you see is based on 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 the results and uh, deadlines uh, now we continue on i hope that i will we will get today uh, some feedback of, on on do we go to the right direction and uh, is it useful for for our doctoral students and for us even for us and uh, of course uh, evaluate uh, i think it would be very interesting if we come together uh, uh, on on these blocks a b c and evaluate each other courses and give feedback uh, uh, that we do not overlap each other uh, other's content and of course uh, the picture is taken in South Africa, uh, and uh, this is my own experience that if you uh, cross the borders in your mind, 
you become an active uh, uh, member of global intellectual uh, elite who work for uh, to making a world better a better place where to live. And this quote from Uni uh, UNISA or uh, University of South Africa remind me that we work something for bigger than just to give or to create a knowledge. We, we are a humans. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Lima, for your presentation. We have uh, two minutes before break uh, for questions. Please, if you have questions, uh, ask Lima. I have one comment about the slide. I think on uh, on your slide, it's another campus or building of University of Helsinki was shown. I included a link to the Faculty of Science. The modern uh, part of the university located in a Kumpulan campus and it has completely different view. And I have one practical question with respect to the A5 course. Uh, do you consider also approach principles process for building personal networking contacts by PhD students, especially if they are working in the inter-multidisciplinary area? Sorry, I, I, I missed the beginning of the question. So do you consider also uh, some kind of approach, principles, process for building personal networking contacts by PhD students, especially if they are working in the multi-interdisciplinary topics? Yeah, I think this course could be used uh, to establish a real uh, research team through the doctoral studies, what can continue to, to, to do and apply for some uh, uh, research projects, after all, on postdoctoral level, or even just, yeah, to, to, to establish the network new network. And this is why I suggest that this course could be a international, not only within the universe, even, yeah, but so even within the university, it would be nice if it's uh, a course for all doctoral students uh, who came from different uh, areas, uh, science areas together and to do something to, to, together, yeah. Okay, thank you. And I think sorry, now... sorry, there is one there is one short question. Laima, uh, we do we have this course in University of Latvia? <laughs> no, we has not, but we thinking about that in our faculty. And I will send this course to my dean uh, and committee of the program development. I would like to really uh, to to approve this course. Yeah. Okay, 